good morning everyone welcome back to codingscientist.com so this this is a pretty short video i am going to introduce about a new series a new product we are launching at uh, coding scientist so basically this is a humanoid robot and application of chat gpt kind of large language models right so forget about chat gpt for a minute so let's look at uh, the gpts alone and the llm large langu language model so how is it possible to deploy a llm and how is it used in robotics right so we created a prototype and did a lot of r and d uh, using raspberry pi as a embedded uh, uh, computing uh, device and we came up with a solution that hey why can't we create our own llm for images for videos and for ros robot operating system where we can host the entire application on aws and raspberry pi can fetch the data communicate directly with aws and trigger the information back to all the 24 different servo motors of a humanoid robot looks interesting isn't it now we had gone one step ahead we were able to successfully launch multiple ROS topics on the robot and create an autonomous environment where the bot can capture the visual audio and video from the camera that that's from the head of the lens uh, uh, of the bot and then communicate that back into the LLM uh, trained model and then communicate back to human beings so that means whatever we say it actually mimics so let me just uh, show you a small prototype demo so I may not be able to show the entire demo in this particular video but my intention is to launch at least 40, 50, 60 videos how to build that kind of bot and program it and set it up and run it. So that's what the series is all going to be. So let me just move to my other screen and show you a short demo so, so you can see here behind me there is another image of myself right so that is basically uh, the image on the browser from the robot so where is the humanoid robot so here you go let me just tilt the camera and this is the surprise can you see this so this is the head and this is the entire uh, body uh, two arms and the legs the entire structure of the humanoid boat which is just right across sitting around my uh, laptop I'm sorry guys I don't have a professional uh, studio to make uh, multiple uh, captures of the video but whatever best I can do I'm just trying to build this video so now what we will do is I'm just gonna trigger some commands through my uh, mobile uh, web browser and you can see the bots head moving around and you can see the subsequent images on the browser here itself so there you go, there you go. Can you see that around? Fantastic. So the head movements are pretty flawless, right? And it can go a little more down as well. So this is absolutely a 360 degree view camera. But since I have only two servo motors fixed on the head, so it's going to be just a 180 degree pan and tilt which is more than sufficient I suppose so you can see the image streaming on the browser from the camera and this is pretty much uh, real time guys alright so this is pretty interesting now let me just try to give some command for the arm uh, let me just say wave wow hello bot so I can initiate a customized uh, you know commands as well through the browser and look at it okay so looks pretty interesting so far all right so now what we will do guys so this is this is just a glimpse of uh, you know a pretty uh, short uh, video to introduce about the new series which is coming up and the new product we are launching so 
guys you know i i will i will go ahead and i will post a list of uh, list of components required to procure to build this particular uh, bot so it, it's basically you know ax12 uh, uh, you know uh, digital servo motors or htc servo motors whichever combination you want to use you can use it and also you will need a raspberry pi and a raspberry pi had the expansion board uh, i can provide all those components if you want uh, but the programming aspect and building the air and uh, the llm is the main magic of this particular series so you need to have basic knowledge on python and you know artificial neural network and several libraries you need to have fair amount of knowledge on the aws how to host that application and then connect your raspberry pi through the local wi-fi and connect it to the internet so that it can fetch the data from aws and then back to so let me just show you uh, the actual build of this particular bot so as you can see you know these are the arms and then this is the head and so this is the raspberry pi uh, which i mounted at the back side so you can see there are you know the camera is directly connected to uh, uh, one of the usb ports and uh, you have multiple other uh, micro usb options so it's it's pretty interesting guys so uh, you know it's it's mm -hmm. going to be a magical world seeing llm gpts and llms communicate thing to back to the hardware world that is the embedded devices so it's going to open up a lot of opportunity for for uh, you know researchers for phd professionals for folks who are doing uh, doctorate phds and also for engineering students to do a lot of research on uh, using this particular robot and the llm model which we built you can expand your research in building multiple applications on robotics all right guys so i will come back to you uh, soon with the next module which is going to break down an assembly of the entire bot and also the most of the videos is going to cover on setting up the raspberry pi and setting up the llm models and training the model capturing data hosting that particular model on aws connecting back to uh, to raspberry pi and making your robot to work all right see you soon goodbye